right, kindergarten. Today we're going to start a new project. We are going to practice our lines. I'm gonna get out a black marker. If you don't have a black marker, try to find some kind of dark color, colored pencil, um, crayon, something like that. Try to find a dark color like black. Then we're gonna practice our lines. I like to put my marker cap on the back of my marker so I don't lose it. I'm gonna start at the top of my paper and I'm gonna make a horizontal straight line. We're gonna try to learn the lines that Larry the snake showed us. So start by making a horizontal straight line at the top of your paper. Then I'm gonna make a zigzag line goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It does not have to look exactly like mine. Just do your best. Next, I'm gonna make a diagonal line. And then I'm gonna make a wavy line. So right now I have four lines on my paper. The next one is pretty hard. So what? how I like to start is we're gonna make a spiral line. So how I start is I make a dot on my paper and then I pretend that I'm taking that dot for a walk. So to make a spiral, you're gonna start with your dot and you are going to start to make a circle. But instead of closing that circle, you're gonna go past it and keep going and making it bigger and bigger. Now spirals are pretty hard. I would like for you to try, but if it's not going well for you today, if you don't think that that's gonna work out for you today, you can instead make a circle. I'm gonna give you guys a moment to catch up and finish drawing your lines. All right, guys, now I'm going to grab my crayon so I can color in my picture. Now, before we just start going crazy with our coloring, we want to make sure that we're doing our best job coloring. You can see we're going to color inside of our shapes. I don't ever want to color over a black line. So what I like to do, something that keeps me inside of my lines, is I first like to draw my color next to my line first. I'll do it over here as well. I'll color next to my line first. So then when I go to color in, it's easier to stay inside my lines. All right, and once I've finished coloring that space, then I'm going to grab a different color and do the same thing in a different space. 
So you can see I'm coloring next to my lines first to make sure I stay in the lines. And then once I've colored next to my lines, then I can fill in that space. But I'm never coloring over a line. All right, kindergarten, there is my finished lined drawing all colored in. You can see I did a really great job of coloring. I made sure not to scribble. I made sure not to go outside of my lines and I made sure to do a really nice, neat job and fill in everything all the way. I'm really excited to see how your guys' end up.